Uh, this is Drum from Nonstop Tech, and today we're going to talk about the sequel to how to format the XFAT. The first one, it was pretty much created for Lion, and now that Mountain Lion has been out for a little while, I thought it'd be a good idea to do a sequel. Uh, this one, nothing too much has changed. I mean, you still have other options available to you if you don't want to actually transfer stuff via a physical hard drive. You have Dropbox, for example, or Google Drive, and there's like a plethora of other items to allow you to bring files across but sometimes the files are huge and shooting it over the network might take too long depending on your upload and download speeds so you have to bust out the hard drive and then sometimes another obstacle actually appears so you have like your Mac and then you have your Windows computer or vice versa and you're trying to move these files back and forth but the hard drive's not seen the Mac can't write to it you have all these issues and you're like man how do I solve this so the best way to do this is to format in a uh, format a file format called XFAT. Best way to do that is hook up your hard drive that you're going to use for this. I'd recommend that you remove all the important stuff off of this hard drive before you do this because it will erase everything on that hard drive. You'll go over best way to get to the application. It's called a disk utility. You go over here to Spotlight. Type in disk utility should be your first hit and you will open it up once it checks for all your hard drives you're good to go so you'll see that like this first hard drive right here these two don't mess with these these are actually the hard drive that this is the hard drive that's inside your computer you don't want to delete this um, or well your computer won't work anymore right um, you you'll usually you'll see like depending on how you hook it up I have mine hooked up via firewire so a little firewire symbol will appear or you'll see USB if you have a USB based hard drive hooked up. What you can do is you click on it and what I usually do is since you can actually partition or erase I go to erase and you'll see that it says format. You can actually right now it, the default is Mac OS extended. So Windows won't be able to read this so what you're gonna do is click on the drop down menu select XFAT and then you can name the hard drive whatever you want. We'll call this one our awesome, I guess. Well, I guess that's it. Our awesome. Man, that was a lame name, huh? After that, you'll click on erase. It'll make sure to let you know, hey, you're going to lose all the information on here. So are you sure you want to do this? If you say yes, it'll take a couple of seconds. It'll format the disk for you, the hard drive for you. Be pretty quick. And now you actually have a hard drive that's formatted XFAT. And you can take it between your Mac and your Windows computer. The reason you chose XFAT versus pretty much the old FAT32 is this one doesn't have those weird like limitations for file size and whatnot so you won't be running into those especially if you're transferring like a lot of video back and forth or other large files but this is how you format your hard drive to XFAT. I'm Jerome from Nonstop Honolulu. Check out our webpage. And as always, if you have questions, you can email me at jerome at nonstophonolulu.com. Or you can check out our Nonstop Tech podcast that is located on iTunes, of all places. Or you can, if you do a Google search for it, you'll find it. Or you can go straight to nonstophonolulu.com. Aloha.